Hello, YouTube. This is another legal problem called combinations. Given to integer n and k, return all possible combinations of k numbers out of 1 to n. Basically, some kind of permutation or combination question. So let's do that. Uh, let's firstly define the result array list integer if n less or equal to zero or k less or equal to zero. We just return result if if k is greater than n, there's no sense for k greater than n. We just uh, give k to n. And uh, then we do TFS, DFS. But for DFS, we integer, we need a temp list to store the data. Then we do DFS. And we start in from index 1, in m plus 1, k. We start in from 1, template list, result. We just return result, the result. So here comes the DFS and K curry index template template list uh, no. teacher template list 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 of list to store the result. Okay, firstly we need to check if current uh, index greater than n, which means the index is out of bound. So we just return if temper list dot size is greater than k. There is no need to continue for the return. If template is the dot size equal to k, here is the result what we want. So we need to store the result. We copy the data from temp list. To the new array. Temp list dot get. Then do a little saw. If result doesn't contain list, we add it to the final result. After that, if temple is the dot size less than k, we know we need to do some loop here. I less equal to n. I plus plus or I equal to one should be current index. Then we add it. We found one. We add it uh, to temple list, and then we DFS again and k I plus one temple list result. We also need to do 
backtrack. So we need to remove the data that we just added. Yeah, I think that's it. Let's see if that works. Run it. Compilation error. Temp list, no temp. Again. That worked. Stop me. Okay, that worked. Hmm, the performance is really bad. But anyway, this is the typical permutation or combination solution. Just run a DFS. Let me know if you have a better solution. Okay. Thank you.